Straight from Hope Ministry Sanctuary, Pastor Ralph here. Blessings to you all on another beautiful sa Sunday given to us from God above. Let us together uh, uh, worship God this early morning and let us together find out how and the easy way to speak and listen to God each and every day. Because the question is not whether God speaks, but whether we hear him and He, he when he speaks to us. Our job is to uh, quiet our soul, listen attentively, and discern the voice of God when he speaks to us. So what does God sound like? Hmm. Until we get to heaven, we'll not know what he sounds like exactly. But scripture does tell us that God speaks to us in his way. In the Old Testament, he spoke through the prophets and he speaks to us today through his son Jesus Christ and the word of course and he has spoken most perfectly through his son Jesus Christ and you can see that in Hebrews 1 1 through 2 you see the question is not whether God speaks but whether we hear him when he does speak to us our job is to quiet our soul listen attentively and discern the voice of God when he speaks to us Psalms 46.10 says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Being still is not easy for us in the modern age. It means that we have to stop doing. Stop scrolling. Stop planning. Stop talking. Stop watching and uh, hashtagging. It means that we cease all activities. You see, in that stopping and the stillness that follows that stopping, my soul can finally breathe and my spirit can uh, more fully grasp that God is my refuge and my strength. It is in this stillness that my fear and anxiety start to shrink. We sit quietly in the presence of the great I am. It is only then that our thinking can focus uh, on God and his word daily. See, for years I have been practicing a morning ritual of being still and knowing. For me, this has been spiritually life-giving and it is uh, motivation to get up each and every day early as I do. There are four key parts to my be still and know. First step, I find a quiet space to listen. If I'm able, I like to be the first person awake in my household and watch the sun rise. Secondly, I read God's word. God speaks clearly to me through scripture each and every morning. And I ask God, Lord, what are you saying to me? And is there anything that you want me to do about what you're saying to me? Thirdly, I keep a journal. This helps me process what I am learning and record what is uh, in God's teaching. I can go back and reflect on these lessons. And these are my videos. This is my journal. And finally, I spend time in prayer. As I connect to my Heavenly Father, it is personal, heartfelt, real, and open. We cannot tell God how and when to speak to us. We can, however, position ourselves to hear his voice. I will listen to what the Lord will say. He promises peace to his people, his saints, but let them not return to a folly in Psalms 85, 8. You see, God promises peace to his saints. It is a peace produced in heaven and delivered on earth. God's peace provides us just what we need, not just enough to get us through life, but enough to excel in life. The peace of God pro uh, uh, propels us to go places we would never uh, have gone before and we would avoid it if we didn't have the assurance of his peace. God's peace plan for his people is accessible at all times. When we fail and fall to forge our faith around 
his plan, we forfeit our peace. God's peace proceeds from a heart of obedience. It is inaccessible to the disobedient person. You see, there are ways that God does not gain the peace uh, that you sometimes have. You see that God uh, wants us to have the peace through his words, because Paul said it well. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. You will not have peace on your own without God in your life, through whom we have gained access by faith into the grace in which we now stand in Romans 5, 1 through 2. Peace is for the purpose of faith, not fully. Peace cannot be a uh, uh, prostitute for personal gain. It is all about God and his game plan. We for, forgo peace when we go astray. We give up peace when we go our own way and try our own things. However, if you find yourself in trouble, trust him. His peace will uh, uh, be a humble feeling uh, and trusting in your heart. In the middle of your storm, listen to his voice say, Peace be still in Mark 4.39. Calm, calmness comes with Christ. Joy comes from Jesus. The Lord gives us lasting peace. Let the Lord in your uh, 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 life enter. He already knows and cares. Conclusion and confusion in life is only when you go on your own without him in your life. However, the peace of God does not require your total understanding. It transcends your troubled heart. It will Guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus Christ in Philippians 4, 7. Man's peace depends on uh, treaties that uh, can be broken. God's peace depends on your relationship with Jesus Christ that cannot be broken ever. Man's peace is uh, momentarily. God's peace is enduring forever. Listen to the voice of man and you may delay the peace process of your own. Listen to the voice of God and you will accelerate the peace process each and every day. God provides peace to his children. His provision of his peace awaits your access. Therefore, my friends, pray and wait for his peace. His peace uh, pre precludes fear. Listen to the Lord. His voice can be trusted each and every day. May God always bless each and every one of you watching me. May you all go through life with Jesus Christ. And may you find the peace that God so graciously provides for you in your heart. May God bless you.